Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we are checking out a Dell Alienware laptop that's about six years old and we've never ever touched an Alienware laptop. This laptop is from 2015 and it was $2,000 at the time it was released. How does it hold up in 2022? Well, we're about to find out, but first a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. With Windows 10, it is so easy just to go onto the website using the link in the description down below and then go to the Windows 10, click buy it now, add code TB20, then go to the checkout, put in your payment info and then boom, you will get within a few seconds or a few minutes an activation code that you will go into Windows 10, put in the activation code and it is fully legit. It will work out of the box and you will have a fully activated Windows 10 license. We use GVG Mall for all the PCs we built here at the Toasty Bros, and so should you. So definitely check the link in the description down below and use code TB20 to save money on checkouts. So when I was browsing on eBay, I saw this Alienware from 2015 that was only $400, and I say only $400. It is an old laptop, so I think $400 is a fair valuation for it, but I just wanted to see what is this thing like in 2022? If you bought this thing for two grand thinking you're gonna get a laptop for five, six plus years, can it actually play new games still? Well, we're gonna find out, let's open it up. This laptop being 400 bucks, I mean, to me, that sounds like a pretty good deal. You know, I'm not a fan of Alienware, and I know I said we've never touched an Alienware laptop. I don't think we've ever touched an Alienware. Like, we're, we've just been that appalled by them our whole lives, honestly. We did have that one repair at PC Bros. We had an Alienware repair, I forget, it was, and that was a absolutely bonkers, like, dual 1080 system that someone probably paid, like, four grand for, uh, maybe more when it came out. So, like Matt was saying, $2,000 when this originally came out sounds about right. I mean, for a 970 mobile, and a six gen, was it an i5 or i7? i7. I don't know, I don't think that's terrible back then, but that also just doesn't sound great in 2015 because Ryzen, I think, had just came out. So it's definitely um, an interesting thing to think about. One of the things you gotta keep in mind is that $400, what can you get? Um, obviously, you're gonna be looking at new laptops, and Matt and I, we've been reviewing a lot of laptops lately, and I don't think we can get anything with the GPU for that price. Mainly looking at Ryzen APUs, maybe some Intel, um, like i5s that are 11th gen with some integrated graphics, but I mean, I'll be honest, I don't think you're gonna find anything with like Vega graphics that compares to a 970M. Now, I'm not really too sure. We'll have some specs pulled to kind of see what a 970M really performs like. I mean, you know, it's a 970, but at the end of the day, it might perform, you know, like a GT 1030. That used to be how they get you. You know, nowadays, whenever you buy like a laptop with an RTX card, you actually get an RTX card inside the laptop. But this, this was back when like Alienware was still really, I mean, just absolutely hammering the gamer look. I think this was right when they were starting to kind of go a little bit more professional with it not having like tons of flashy lights and things that just made these things run so hot and only last for like five minutes. So um, I'm gonna assume this thing came like fully dead. Oh, it's turned on. Oh. And surprisingly, it's not making a lot of noise, which is kind of crazy. Quiet. We actually have like this nice Alienware logo. It looks like it's just blue. It could be RGB and the little alien glows. And on the other side, of course, I mean, Alienware, come on. It has to glow, right? Yes. Um, so, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, it looks kinda cool. Oh my, okay, hold on. Hey, that hold glows. I, I, I've not had a laptop with this before. I'm starting to think we're getting our money's worth here. <laughs> but the real question is, can we turn up the brightness a little bit more? Cause that's that's pretty freaking dim. Oh, ooh. Oh, good, get, get bright. Not bad. Yeah, these bezels are like, holy. I mean, Dang, I, I feel like I'm looking at an school. old like IBM ThinkPad yeah. or something. It definitely has some very thick bezels to it. Um, but yeah, Windows 10 Pro looks like they've already upgraded to it and everything, so. We're good there. It does actually have a backlit keyboard, backlit uh, trackpad, which I don't really know why you need. Lots of lighting on it. We actually has a webcam, speakers, all that good stuff built in. We'll make sure that that actually works. We should have Wi. Yeah, it looks like the Wi-Fi is good to go. Okay, we're not gonna get chime, so maybe speakers broke, but we'll, we'll find out. It might just not be playing time. It looks like the uh, the actual Wi-Fi does work. That's something you're also gonna see on a lot of old laptops. Gotta watch out for that. A lot of times those old Wi-Fi cards, they go out over time and then you have to use like a Wi-Fi adapter if that even works. So it looks like we do have Wi-Fi. As far as the ports go, they're a little bit old, but we have two USB 3, we have dual audio jacks, we have the, of course, DC power jack, and on the other side we have Ethernet, we have another USB 3, a USB type C, and an SD card reader. I definitely have to give this thing a good little microfiber oven. So 
We have the i7 6700HQ, 4 core 8 thread, which I'm actually surprised. I thought this would not be a 4 core 8 thread because um, Matt and I are really used to the i7 7700HQ. They're really common with laptops, um, especially like slightly older ones. Really popular laptop CPU. It was really good. I don't know how the 6 gen one compares, but of course, we actually do have DDR4 RAM. Uh, we have eight gigs of it. It says, looks like they added a hard drive maybe? It says um, the actual model came with an SSD and hard drive. Yeah, a 300 gig hard drive. It's a 320 gig Western Digital laptop drive. Don't know why. And a 200, and, I'm guessing 56 gig N NVMe. So I'm assuming they added that, right? Maybe, I'm not NVMe. sure. NVMe, I'm just like, that just, I don't know. It sounds newer. Uh, it has Intel integrated 530 graphics on the CPU. And then we have the GTX 970M, which I think would be a four gig. Yeah, four gig of shared memory. Oh, it's a three gig. Three. I forgot about that. So it actually is a three gig, but then it shares, I guess, one extra gig from the actual RAM. So for 400 bucks, I mean, you can't really do anything better than this. Now it is used, so you really gotta keep that in mind. That battery is probably beat to death. Um, so there's definitely some stuff that you could do to like get one of these and then upgrade it. And the, really the biggest thing that I wanna point out is, it's I mean, huge. yeah, it is huge. I think it's time we just load up some games and see how it does. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite on Wait. performance mode. And uh, as you can see right here, here are the settings. Basically running medium view distance, textures and medium. I'm gonna drop this up, drop this up, move this up to Epic, haha. We're at 1080p performance zone, as I mentioned. And uh, yeah, we'll see what the performance stays like. But right now we're getting a constant 100 FPS before we drop into the main game, which is normally a good sign of what the FPS is gonna be like. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, the 970M and this CPU, they work really well together. Um, it's just a matter of can this keep up with newer games? Yeah, Fortnite is not the most demanding game in the world but it's a game a lot of people like to play so you can really use this video as a guide for if you try to find a older used laptop with something like a 970m and a 6700 hq which is probably a popular configuration back in 2015 when this was released um, and if you can find something similar for the 400 dollars price point that we paid it might still be a decent buy as long as you uh, make sure it's in good shape and the battery is not like absolutely awful so Going to go ahead and drop in here. Um, I'm seeing some weird little artifacting here. It could be the drivers aren't super up to date with what um, we have right now, but we'll let everything load in and go from there. There's someone else coming to battle me. Doesn't look like it. But yeah, we're running around to getting about 120 to 130 FPS. Yeah, there is some weird artifacting, but that could literally be performance mode being stupid because yeah, performance mode has some bugs right now. Um, and from what everyone said in the comment sections, uh, it's just really not worth using unless you just want crazy frames and you just want to deal with all the issues it has. Um, and I am pretty impressed with how quiet this laptop is. That CPU is about 85 degrees Celsius. You got to remember back in the day, the CPUs would just run really, really hot, especially these 6700 HQs. So that's not a bad temperature at all. Um, we'll definitely see what it's like when we get into another game where we're really stressing that 970M rather than just the CPU right now because yeah, there's really not a whole lot going on here in Fortnite and it's it's working good. But yeah, guys, FPS is still pretty solid, 100 plus FPS. As you can see, things are loading in kind of weird. Um, that could be the eight gigs of RAM as well. Um, I did make a mistake that the textures loading in is not normally a hard drive issue. It's normally a RAM issue. So um, yeah, we're looking at right at seven gigs of RAM usage right now. This only has eight gigs. So 16 gigs would probably fix that issue overall um, and make it for a better gaming experience. I was hoping to fight somebody, but guys, I'm just, I'm just not finding anybody. It's just not happening. Ah, those almost got me. That was definitely a bot, but you know what? I got a kill. Look at that. That's all I really want. All right, let's switch to another game. All right, guys, we are now in Warzone, and these are the settings we are running at. I'm gonna crank up that FOV. We are running pretty much low on everything. This is what it's defaulted to. We actually are running on 66% render scale. Um, I have a feeling that's probably what you're gonna need here because this is an older GPU, and Warzone is pretty demanding. And we're gonna go ahead and queue up for, where is Solos? There's Solos. Let's queue up for Solos, get into a game, and see what kind of performance we're getting. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. Bob and uh, weave. I, I am, am dead. <laughs> you already died. <laughs> no, I, I'm not, I'm in warm up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys, now, 
we didn't show you the warm up because McAllister hopefully cut that, but he may have included <laughs> it. Who knows? Uh, but this ain't great. I'll be honest with you. This is where it's going to struggle. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just going to drop into the main game. Maybe it'll be a little bit better. Probably not. But you're looking at like 40 to 50 FPS um, with a lot of stutter. And I think it's probably a RAM situation. Running 8 gigs of RAM in Warzone is not great. Um, but even then, it, this uh, GPU is pinged at close to 100%. So it's probably a combination of the two. Um, yeah, let's go to, uh, I don't know. That's a, that's a big plane for one person. <laughs> smack, smack. I got a scope. Hey, the oh, frame dude, rate looks is... a little better, actually. No, more, I think, dude, you're rendering in a lot of chunks. <laughs> yes, a lot of chunks. But yeah, no, now we're getting a little bit better frame rate. Not great, but it's still 60 FPS. So, I mean, it's technically playable, I guess. 60 hertz monitor, 60 FPS. Let's go. That's all you need. Oh, oh, there's the lag. A little <laughs> lag there. It's like, ah, uh, no. Blocks. Oh, God. It so <laughs> scared me. Holy crap. Look, he's oh, just freaking hiding dude. right there. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. I, I didn't get a chance to shoot off my bazooki. Hashtag lasered. It's my moment to shine. Or to just be done. Sort <laughs> oh. Wait, what? I killed him. I didn't him. even see a hit marker. And he just jumped right in front of me. <laughs> God, did he run you over? He did run me over. Look, <laughs> he's like, oh, here I come. <laughs> okay. That's so dumb that that yeah, kills you. Like. That's so weird. All right, well, there you go. That's Warzone. Um, we're going to go ahead and wait for Apex to finish downloading, and then we will test that. All right, gamers. We are now playing Apex Legends. We're loading up some arenas. I'll show you guys the settings as soon as we get in, but we're on pretty much all medium low, mostly low settings you know, two to three gigs of texture budget because we only got a three gig graphics card in this. One thing we have definitely noticed is it has a lot of like menu lag. So hopefully you don't actually see any of that in the game. As long as it's not in the game, you know, we're good. So here's the settings real quick. So full screen 1920 by 1080, we're gonna turn this up actually. Um, and then we just basically have like pretty much all those settings. A couple of like medium settings here and there. But I mean, looks like we're getting like 30 FPS. <laughs> 30, 60, 60 Same, FPS. like 30, whoa. <laughs> Hopefully we don't dip that low. Yeah, um, eSports titles should run decently on those. We saw Fortnite works well. Uh, Apex is definitely more GPU dependent. As you can see, that 970M is pretty much 100%. Um, but uh, yeah, still getting 60 FPS on a laptop from 2015. Pretty good. Yeah, obviously this game's a little bit more of a AAA title, so you're definitely going to see lag a little bit more here and there. It's a pretty smooth 60. It's not like it's dipping below 60 constantly. I love That's a 69 team. shot. I like that. You like that, dude? Yeah. Where is my team? Oh! oh God, uh, got one down, though. That's something. I got one down. Uh oh. You oh. have been eliminated. Dag nabbit. Yeah. Apex, man. 60 FPS. No problems whatsoever. How, how is my team this? Like, I know why I'm playing bad. Oh my God. Okay. Thank God, dude. Oh, what? Oh, montage. <laughs> montage. <laughs> montage, McAllister. I'm going to scream here so you can see this. Ah, oh, McAllister, oh get God, this. Please kill montage. this guy, dude. Show that one to Zach. Go, Go offload this right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> right freaking now. But yeah, Apex Legends. You can play at 60 FPS in arenas mode. Might be a little bit less in the main game, but it is still playable. Uh, let's just wrap this video up real quick. Woo! All right, guys. So this eBay Alienware, well, overall, it works. I mean, it works really well, and we really don't have any complaints about it. I mean, I think we just got really a good deal, and we got relatively lucky because eBay, well, it can be a little bit sketchy at times. You can have some problems. You can have, you know, sellers kind of trick you on things, but I feel like we really got our money's worth with this one. That 970M and that older i7 still can play most games. So overall, it's a pretty decent value for what we paid. I wouldn't pay a ton of money for it, especially depending on the condition. The person we bought this from took really good care of this laptop. So yeah, if you want to just browse eBay for one of these things, link in the description down below, be an affiliate link, it will help us out. But yeah, it was a fun video to actually take a look at an old school Alienware laptop.
So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, now that we got this laptop from eBay, we tested it, we cleaned it up, we're gonna have to add the Toasty Bros seal of approval and then sell it on our PC selling website. PCBros.tech is where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and a bunch of other cool gaming stuff. Go online or come in person. See you guys later. Goodbye.